the first thing I want to point out, which not many people have picked up on, is why are all the court drawings of him with his shirt pulled up up to his eyes? Can you think of why that could be the case? I may have an idea because I've started to watch, is it Katie Hopkins? Yeah. She mentioned something about a beard or facial hair. Well, has, yeah, has he grown an Islamic beard? What is an Islamic beard, Nick, for our for our gentle listeners? Because I'm never quite sure. I, I know there's a lot of Muslims have very tatty beards. In fact, yeah. I had one for a while. <laughs> she did. <laughs> so I, I yeah. kind of I know what a tatty beard looks yeah. like. And I know a lot of Muslims have tatty beards. Yeah. So but, what, Islamic, but what is an Islamic beard? An Islamic beard is just a beard. But it's on, an Isla it's, it's on someone who is Muslim. Right. So in their belief system... It is um, a positive thing to do to copy the, the prophet. Right. So they think Muhammad had a beard. Does it have a particular look about it? It's not one of those where the top lift shaved, is it? Is it just a normal beard? I, it can it can be all sorts right. of things from my understanding. All right. But if he has got a beard, then we've got there is an issue there of is. Is it an Islamic beard? That's a group because he's yeah. trying to copy the Prophet Muhammad. I don't know. But it's very strange that every single drawing I've ever been caught has got yeah. a shirt up to there. Yeah. Um, now, I've, but, se I've sent you a picture of him. Yeah. And he has got a beard in that picture. Oh, have you? Yeah. Do you, do you actually look at anything I sent to you? Oh, rarely. I don't know where it was taken. I think it was taken as he was being moved from a police vehicle to... Oh, I've missed that. I've missed that. Uh, and there's two pictures of him. You might want to post these on you, right. uh, uh, but I think he has a little beard, basically. Right. So that's not a great big yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. a little beard. Yeah. So that, so that, my idea was he may have had a beard. But it turns out it's right. He has got a beard. So were those were those drawings done deliberately not to show a beard in case people said, "Look, he's got a beard. He could be Islamist." That's one thing. The next thing is the cancellation of his court hearing and stuff like that, pushing it back, pushing it back. Um, that looks like it was done because of the Tommy Robinson match, the Unite the Unite the Kingdom match. They wouldn't want this stuff coming out before that match and before they lock up Tommy Robinson, because I'm sure they were going to lock him up anyway. Yeah. Um, it just seems to have been managed as much as possible, this court case. Um, and then when you get to Parliament, the Speaker of the House... Um, has now decided no one can ask Keir Starmer any questions about the court case. Now, th that bit to me, I know you're going to expand on that, but that bit to me just seems weird. Because surely parliamentary privilege, mm. everything else, means the entire purpose of parliament is that you can discuss things like this. Yep. So, so what's happened? Is this a precedent here that it, we've never seen before? To me it is, but again, I'm not a historian. So parliamentary privilege means you can libel somebody in parliament. Yeah. And you cannot be sued. Anybody, not just somebody else in parliament, but anybody, anybody. outside it, yeah. You can say anything you want and that's not allowed to trigger a court case. You'd be sued, you'd be Which I think is fantastic. Because yeah. that's, the, that's, that's freedom of speech. Yeah. And who do you want to be able to talk freely? Surely it's people in parliament. We all should be able to, but we can't. But you think parliament definitely should. But the Speaker of the House has is, is said, no, you can't do that. Now, if he said you cannot ask any questions about the court case and the evidence in case we um, prejudice the court case, well, I can sort of get that. But it's gone beyond that. When you're not allowed to ask Keir Starmer anything that's in, that's in the public realm. So you can't ask him... When did you know about yeah. the terrorist charges? Which is the question, isn't it? Which is the question to yeah. ask. That's yeah. not going to um, diminish any future prosecution of this comeback. That's a legitimate question. Prime Minister, when did you know these things? Mm. That's called holding politicians to account. Yeah. You're not even allowed to do that now. That's the bit I find very yes, strange. At me, absolutely. And why has nobody said anything about this? Or why has very few people said anything about it? It's not in the news. It's not a scandal. Whereas it should be a scandal that yep. you can't ask questions of the government around this case. 
it's not being reported on that has been reported on but but it then no one talks about it next day first of all it's because it's a bit complicated and as a population we're mainly stupid so and the, and papers and news outlets are trying to sell advertising sell papers um but also if you as a reporter you're not allowed to talk about this in parliament shouting on the streets can get you three years in jail these things subconsciously scare people scare people and you're thinking is this the hill to die on as a reporter as a news presenter am i going to die on this hill will i get sacked and lose my job will, will i end up in jail and th this is we think sometimes that an authoritarian regime is a little bit like the ss you know you say anything they come through your door they beat you up they arrest you you go to the you know to jail you get killed most authoritarian regimes work because because of the fear and, yeah. and who terrifies you is yourself yeah self-inflicted tyranny is still tyranny yeah. and we've got to a stage where we're terrorizing ourselves now yeah. because of the fear we think that may come this is a government of fear there's no doubt about yeah. it i mean for me this whole thing is again a grotesque for me because we now clearly know that this character um, was making ricin, yeah, which is a highly dangerous biological yeah. weapon. I said that's something to do with wheat, fungus on wheat. Yeah, I was wrong. you were wrong. Someone uh, corrected me. Thank you. Several it's, listeners. Yeah, it's castor you. beans. Thank, thank you, listeners. Yeah, it's He's, he, he gets carried away sometimes. Yeah. Castor beans, yeah. is it? But there is. It's difficult to make though. It's not easy to make. No, no, of course, yeah. Um, and then we now know he has connections to Islam, to to the Muslim world through the fact he's downloaded a, an Al Qaeda journal. Yeah, we still um, don't know that to be true. No, we do know he's downloaded it. No, we download that doesn't mean that's not proof that he's an Islamist. No, no, but it proves he has connections to Islam. Well, anyone can that. download it. No, I know, but if, if you if you download yeah. an Al Qaeda Muslim, an, an Al Qaeda manual, you have then connections to Islam, because Al Qaeda is an Islamic organization yeah if you download an Al-Qaeda manual you have connections to an Islamic organization I full stop I think that's a stretch no I, I don't think, think it is I, I don't think it is I think it'll turn out to be that but I think at the moment all we can say on that is he went to the go-to place if you want to be a terrorist which is the Al-Qaeda manual yeah 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 he did and he was making a biological weapon yeah and that information would have been available to Yvette Cooper to within, Keir Starmer. Within days. Within days, if not within, hours. Within, yeah, within at least, absolutely within 48 hours, absolutely. And that information should have been given to the public, especially the biological weapon thing, because the public needs to be aware of this stuff, mm. because this is about protecting our people, isn't it? Would we have known about it if it had been you creating ricin in your kitchen to, to attack yes. Parliament because they put... They've yes put, they've increased your yes. tax bill yeah well we i might no it. i might not have done you might not have done because my surname's khan so they might have said mm. oh yeah he might be a muslim so yeah. let's just hide anything basically yeah. but if it had been you nick yeah it, you'd be all over the front pages there'd be pictures of you being dragged into a police car yeah your full face showing yeah. lots of pictures of you from past on the front pages nick buckley yeah. terrorist yeah. white supremacist yeah. terrorist making rice in yeah. of course within a day within a day of that yeah. information exactly yeah and that's the scandal yeah. that the british public have been denied this knowledge which could assist the british public which could make them alert and aware certainly yeah. in that area all the people who live around there mm -hmm. If they'd have known that somebody's making writing, they'd have been more alert. If they'd seen anything suspicious, mm. they may have alerted it or whatever. You could potentially protect people from danger mm. by making them aware. They weren't made aware, were they? They that's, weren't. That's the first step of the issue for me. They weren't. You could argue that it'd make no difference. Nobody could protect themselves anyway. That could be an argument you make. No, but if you see something suspicious on the yeah. street around the corner from where the guy it's, lives exactly. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. The argument I would make would be the precedence of this before we've been told all this before what is special about this case that you will not share the information that you've done on every single case like this before and the only answer is this case triggered riots and the government don't want any more riots so therefore they're going to lie to us and propagandize us 
and twistings so we don't have the information we would have been given about any other case in the country. The second thing for me is, what about the people who are now in prison? What about the people who said, this guy, I think this guy might be a Muslim mm -hmm. terrorist, you know, I think he'll have connections to Islam or whatever, yeah. who were arrested and in prison. And, and to that could be completely correct. And could be completely correct. Yeah. If this information had been released at the time, mm -hmm. they wouldn't be in prison, would they? Because if they were, because yeah. I just said now, this guy's got connections to Islam. I'm right, yeah. because he's downloaded an Al-Qaeda yeah. manual. You can't arrest me now for that, because it's a fact. Yeah. So these people who've been so, who were saying this at the time didn't have that knowledge, but it now transpires they were correct. And it'll turn out that the government had that knowledge and that information, yeah. didn't present it. So therefore this is a corruption of our criminal justice system. Yeah. And, and reinforces our stance that these are political prisoners. Correct. Yeah. I, I think it does. It reinforces that because actually what should happen now is there should be a wholesale release of these prisoners. But even worse than that, Nick, the government being in possession of that knowledge, Starmer, mm. Cooper, in possession of that knowledge, went on TV and said, these people are right-wing thugs, the criminals, mm. they're going to be put in prison. Mm. Yeah. So even knowing that the people these political prisoners were saying things that were probably correct. Yeah. They then actually encouraged yeah. the police and the criminal justice system to imprison them. That's how bad this is. Yeah. And I, I'm not sure if everybody's put the dots together mm. here about what this means. I think they will. And I think there'll be a lot of reporting on this when it gets to court. Yeah. When, when the, when the hundred percent facts come out, yeah. um, then, they, there has to be payback for this. If it turns out the way we think it's going to turn out, yeah. it has to be. Yeah. It has to be. We're not a banana republic. No. This happens in other countries. Yeah. Does it happen here? No. You know, we're, part of our criminal justice system is the prosecution has to declare everything they know. The police would have known this within hours. Yeah. The police will have known. Yeah. The CPS and we, would have known. And we've seen the DEI appointment uh, who heads up Merseyside Police. I can't remember what her name is now. Sir, is it Serena? Sir, Sir Jackson? Yeah. Yeah, I've met her several times. We've seen her, yeah. obviously has no idea what's going on. But you, there's well, also... Serena Kennedy. Yeah, Serena Kennedy. Right. There's also a video of her saying, mm. threatening the people who are in the riots, mm. don't think you've got away with it, you bastard. I mean, I'm paraphrasing. Yeah. Don't think you've got away with it, you bastards. We've got videos of you. We're going to come after you. Yeah. And she will, we're going to come after you. You might be home now thinking you're okay, yeah. but we're going to track you down and yeah. you're going to be punished, you, you bastards, basically. She knew then. Yeah. When she was saying that, she knew then. But her saying that wasn't about the people at the riots. Her saying that was a warning to everybody else. That's the propaganda bit. That's the authoritarian state going... We just need to keep you all scared. So none of you are going to go out and attend any more riots, attend any more demonstrations, because I've just scared the living Jesus out of you. So this was all about scaring the public to stop demonstrating. But this is how horrific this thing is to me. Please stay. You have a government hmm? who knows that this guy has connections to Islam. He might have his little beard or hmm. whatever it might be. He may be a Muslim. He may actually attend a local mosque. We don't know. And part of this, again, these local riots, were they precipitated by local knowledge mm. of this, this individual? Because I don't know, do you, Nick? No. Were, you know, it could have been precipitated by local knowledge. So we have a government who knows he's potentially an Islamic terrorist. Yeah. We have a, 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 a police chief and a police force who know he's potentially an Islamic terrorist. There's, there's evidence there to suggest he mm. may be. Despite that, and the people are out protesting about Islam mm. and about Muslims, despite the fact they know those people have some validation mm. and there is some logic behind their protests, they are punishing them and putting them in prison. Mm. And worse than that, not saying to them, listen, guys, there might be a connection here because we found this and that, but please go home or please don't riot. We're mm. going gonna to get to the bottom of this. This is how horrible it is. Mm. It sounds just like a utopian police state, doesn't it? It does. And that's what we, we're living in. Uh, the final bit on that, and, uh, you know, it is really, the more you think about it, the more enraging it is. And what's more enraging is the fact nobody is talking about it in the mainstream media. 
at all, as far as I can see. They're not, because it's an open court case. Yeah. And they're terrified. I think you're right. This is a government of fear, isn't yeah. it? You know, and, and it's, it's getting worse. But Did you enjoy that video? I think you did. Come on now, hit that bell, subscribe, comment. Let's build this channel. I need more followers. I need more subscribers. Be part of the journey. See you soon.